There's so much that kids need to know these days to keep themselves safe. Cyber safety, bullies, strangers. But what about the basics? Tell me, and I will forget. Show me, and I may remember. Involve me, and I will understand. Little learning, lifelong safety. Welcome to the YMCA's Children's Safety Village. It's just what the name suggests, and more than you might expect. Discover a real-world classroom in a child-sized village where kids are active participants in their own learning, from fire safety to traffic safety. Uh, where do you begin with the Safety Village? There's just so many things and it's so realistic. What we do basically is teach kids to get out and stay out, the basics. Stop, drop and roll if they get fire on their clothes. And we have this incredible facility in which to, to do these exercises. So here we teach them how to make a fire drill, an escape plan. How do you get out of your house? What are all the ways out? Where do you go once you're outside? and then we get to practice it. I think that the benefit is, is they get sort of real hands-on safety lessons and they can apply those without being in a dangerous situation. So we do go over with them about how to be a good passenger in a car and how to be a good passenger on a school bus as well to help prevent those kinds of collisions. With a 26-building mini-city that includes streets with operational traffic signals, road signs, a railway crossing, and a life-size school bus, YMCA Children's Safety Village is the place for childhood experiences that save lives. A little learning, lifelong safety. We've been coming to the Children's Safety Village for at least six years now. And uh, it's a great place for kids to learn all their safety rules. It's just a good way for kids to, to stay safe. But I think coming to the Safety Village, they're really exposed to a lot more um, things that they can see and do. So it's a lot more hands-on. So we want to get as much hands-on um, experience for the kids. So coming and doing a field trip just allows them to experience so much more than being in the classroom. When you get children at this age and involve them in something like this where they're actually hands-on, they suck it up like sponges. And I tell you, they go home and they talk to their parents about this and the parents secondhand learn as well or better than if they were in the classroom themselves. We take a lot of pride in what we do, trying to put across these key messages that could save lives.